hello hello Facebook hello Instagram and YouTube um, welcome to today's video where I'm picking up from where I left off yesterday on dealing with narcissists over the holidays and today I really want to talk to you about going from victim to being a victor and um, before I get started into that there's something from yesterday that I want to address which um, I forgot to mention yesterday's in yesterday's video sometimes narcissists even if you're not around them physically for the holidays they'll reach out to you um, through text messages through emails whatever electronic means and try to pressure you into doing something trying to um, get you to switch um, terms of agreements that you maybe have agreed upon or try to guilt you into doing something that you don't want to do or making you feel as though it's your responsibility to do something that you guys have never talked about or never previously agreed upon. So there can be extra pressure, extra, um, uh, uh, you know, try, tr manipulation essentially of trying to make you do something that you never agreed upon before you don't want to do. Um, and just know that you're under no obligation to respond to those types of emails. Again, I talked about yesterday how to create that barrier around your peace and making sure like nothing comes near stealing that from you, especially over the holidays. And um, I just want to stress that again, like when they try to do this through text messages or emails or even through a third party, like perhaps they know somebody's going to be at an event that you're going to be to and so they tell that person to tell you or mention it to you that such and such needs to happen or whatever um, you know know that you're in, under no obligation to respond that just don't even bother thinking about that over the holidays and once you're you're in a place where you have time to think about it you can really formulate a response to whatever it is that they're asking the second thing that I wanted to bring up really quick before I get into the topic of this video is gift giving and narcissists. And I was asked basically, do narcissists give gifts as a way to manipulate? And yes, they absolutely do. This is very common. Um, most people who give gifts, it's uh, because they're, they want to show you their love for you or how much you're appreciated. For a narcissist, they want you to know that they are great, that you will owe them, that this gift comes with strings attached. There is going to be some form of manipulation attached to gifts that narcissists give. And the thing about narcissist and gift giving is that they'll often be extreme in their gifts. So it will usually be something so extravagant, so over the top, you never even asked for it. And yet they do that because they want you, the greater the gift, the more in debt to them you are. And that's the way that they think. And so just be aware that there is absolutely strings attached to their gifts. And if you want to successfully navigate that system, try to politely decline or, you know, don't even take the gift or, um, you know maybe set it aside and give it to if you're married if you're if the situation is like your in-laws or your parents who are narcissists maybe try to give that gift and say that you're gonna set it aside for your children to use or whatever but know that there is going to be strings attached if you can't outright refuse the gift there is definitely gonna be strings attached and there's always going to be manipulation that comes along with any gifts that narcissists give Okay, so let's go into the topic today, which is um, going from victim to victor. And I'm going to be talking about this a little bit more in a video that I do on the 26th. So after Christmas, I'll be back. I'm not going to do any live videos um, tomorrow. But on the 26th, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in depth. But today, I want you to, um, as you're entering in, it's Christmas Eve, you're, you're preparing to meet with your family, get together with um, those that you care about regardless of what your situation is. So if you're, um, if you know that you are going to be around a narcissist over the holidays, if you are feeling the effects of the abuse that you've gone through um, in past years, so maybe your family is fractured and there's um, not that unity or that oneness that you're used to having or that you wish to have, um, regardless of what your situation is, I wanted to get on here and remind you to get into the mindset of the fact that you are valued, that you have purpose, and that 
your outside circumstances don't reflect the value that you hold internally. And it's really important that before you get into the the Christmas swing of things, you know, if you're going into New Year's or whatever the situation is, that you remember that you have value, that you have purpose, and that these outside things do not reflect your true worth. You know, and just because somebody can't see your value doesn't mean that you don't have value or that you are less than what they believe your value to be. And having that kind of mindset um, is really going to ease a lot of the stress, a lot of the pressure, a lot of the tension that comes along with the holidays just in any normal situation, but especially when you're dealing with a narcissist, you know you're gonna be around one, or you're not celebrating the holidays the way that you wish you were. And um, when you can truly embrace that, I know that sometimes it can take a while to really get into this mindset. And again, I'm going to talk more about this topic on the 26th in my video on the 26th. But, you know, I want you to know that it's, it's about taking that first step. And so sometimes you don't truly feel that way, right? You don't truly feel as though you're... Um, you have value or you have worth or you're certainly not you know at such a level of worth or whatever and um, you know that really it's one of the things that I um, work closely with my clients to to correct and to fix um, because from that belief system will stem everything else but I know that at first it can be hard so even if you don't feel that way if you truly don't even believe it it's important that you at least say it out loud over yourself I am worthy I am valued and these outside circumstances don't impact the worth that I carry inside and so I just really wanted to jump on here and, and basically um, um, say that for today again I'm gonna talk about this more in depth uh, and start talking about what it would look like to start cultivating this type of mindset and along with that mindset you know goes other things that you need such as boundaries I am worth having these boundaries I am my peace that I have cultivated the foundation of my new life that I have started to build is worth um, thinking this way it is worth having these boundaries up it is worth having these um, predetermined decisions already made ahead of time and so I'll be talking about that more on the 26th but today I really wanted to address those three topics first of all uh, narcissists will try to put pressure on you through uh, electronic communication whether that's text messaging emailing or through third-party communications about something that they want you to do or don't want to do over the holidays even if you had previously agreed upon something else second of all gift giving and narcissism is a huge point of manipulation and they know that they can uh, use this opportunity around the holidays to really um, pull the strings of control over people to a greater degree than they can throughout um, the rest of the year and third that your mindset uh, needs to be one of going from victim to victor. So you need to start viewing yourself as worthy, viewing yourself as the internal worth that you carry with you regardless of what your outside circumstances are and really start developing the things in your life needed to not only support and grow that mindset but then to allow the outside world, the natural world, so you know where you live and what you do for work and where your how your kids grow up and all of that kind of stuff flows from your internal world and so if you can start building that mindset you should start doing it today especially over the holidays that you are a victor you are not a victim and your worth does not come from what other people say about you or your outside circumstances so I hope that helps you keep uh, kind of some perspective as we enter into um, it's Christmas Eve today as we go into Christmas tomorrow and then of course the new year that's coming up so um, keep those things in mind and I'll be back on the 26th to do a video that talks more about this mental shift that needs to happen to go from uh, victim to victor. All right, Merry Christmas to you guys and thank you so much for supporting my ministry and for sharing these videos with your friends and reaching as many people as we possibly can.